Are you trying to decide if a Boston Terrier is the right dog breed for you? Well, if you can answer yes to these 25 questions, then this might be the perfect dog breed for you and your family. Coming up. Everybody. Welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com. This is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. Okay, I decided to go ahead and create this video because I know a lot of you are thinking, you know, should you get a Boston Terrier and you're trying to choose between other dog breeds. With this quiz, I wanted to help you in your journey on finding the right puppy for you and your family. And the way I set up this video is I'm gonna ask each question, it's a yes or no question. And basically, if you can answer yes to all these questions, then a Boston Terrier could be the perfect dog breed for you. I'm gonna give you three seconds to basically make your decision after I ask the question. Now, if you take the test and you answer yes to all 25 questions and you're like, yes, I do wanna get a Boston, but I wanna learn more about the dog breed, then check out the show notes below because there I created a special playlist. It has over a dozen videos answering specific Boston Terrier related questions. And the playlist is titled, what you need to know before getting a Boston Terrier. So without further ado, let's get into the questions. Well, let's go ahead and jump into the very first question. Remember, answer all yeses to this 25 question quiz, and that means you should definitely get a Boston Terrier. So question number one, do you want a small dog breed? Yes or no? Question number two, do you want a dog who will cuddle with you daily? Yes or no? Now Bella here, she loves to cuddle and she'll lay right next to you. And from other Boston Terrier owners that I've spoke to within the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group that has over 8,000 members or even on the Facebook page that has 14,000 members, nearly all Boston Terriers love to cuddle. Do you want a dog who is low maintenance when it comes to grooming? Yes or no? So the nice thing with Boston Terriers, they are minimal shedders and the grooming needs are very minimal. I have a video about that. I'll put it in the show notes below if you want to check that video out. But literally, if you're just doing a bath once a month, that would be a great thing. You know, basically every four weeks and you trim their nails during that time, you can pretty much wrap up all their grooming needs in a month. I would say in about 20 minutes. Question number four, do you need a dog with minimal shedding? Once again, if you answered yes, Boston Terriers have a thin coat, which does shed minimally. Do you need a dog who loves to go on walks? At least with my personal experience, Bella absolutely loves going on walks with us, which is perfect. If you have a small family, going on walks is just a great way to get everyone together to spend quality time with one another. Do you need a dog who will not bark while on walks? I think this is absolutely imperative. Boston Terriers in general are a non-barking breed. Now there are all those outliers, but in general, whenever you're passing somebody on the street, a Boston Terrier will be great because they won't be one of those yappy dogs that bark at another dog. I have neighbors here that have some of those yappy dogs, which is hilarious because Bella just looks at them as we're walking past them. Do you need a dog who barks when someone knocks on the door? Once again, Bostons are not big barkers, but if someone's knocking on the door, nearly everyone I talk to, when somebody arrives, your Boston Terrier is going to bark. And that's great for us because she's literally, Bella's literally alerting us if someone comes up to the door, even like a UPS delivery guy who's dropping off a package. Do you need a dog who is good with children? Yes or no? Now here with Bella, she was raised eight years, we had no kids, and now we have two, and she did that transition pretty smooth. There are only a few bumps just because she wasn't used to children, but overall, Boston Terriers are great with children. I've talked to hundreds of other Boston Terrier owners that say the exact same thing. Are you okay with a dog who will drool when they want your food, yes or no? This is 100% true with Bella. She generally does not drool. The only time she drools is whenever she knows she's about to get some food and that's when the waterworks start. Question number 10, are you okay with a dog who must live indoors? Now, Boston Terriers are not outdoor dogs. They need to be inside because they do have a thin coat, so they do not do well in extreme heat and they do not do well in extreme cold temperatures. So if you are taking them out in the heat, you need to be monitoring them and only taking them out, you know, 20 minutes at a time if it's anything basically over 90 degrees because they can't overheat easily and you will need to have a coat for them come winter time because they do get cold. 
are you okay with buying a dog who is not hypoallergenic? While Boston Terriers are minimal shedders, they are not a hypoallergenic dog breed because they do shed. Are you okay with a dog who may have allergies? I've talked to a number of Boston Terrier owners and it seems like their Bostons have allergies just like Bella. She had a grain sensitivity, so we had to put her on something because she was getting rashes. And what we did, we ended up moving her to a non-grain diet. Are you okay with a dog who licks a lot? Yes or no? Boston Terriers are notorious lickers. They absolutely love licking their owners. Hey, I do wanna jump in here. If you're enjoying this video, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. Back to the quiz. Are you okay with a dog who snores? Yes or no? Boston Terriers, once again, are notorious for snoring. I think it's just because of their flat face. And it's kind of funny because I would always joke with Emily saying, it sounds like we have a 40 year old man living in our bedroom. And now that I'm 33 and getting older, I have to move the number up. So now I say it's like having a 50 year old man living in our bedroom. Are you okay with a dog who farts? Yes or no? Once again, Boston Terriers are known to be, you know, farters. It goes back to their short nose. I think it's just whenever they're swallowing a lot of air when they're eating, that's what produces the gas. Do you need a dog who is easy to train? Now, while Boston Terriers are stubborn, they are intelligent. So as long as you're doing positive reinforcement style training, they can be easy to train. I've done a survey on the Boston Terrier Society Facebook community. The overwhelming majority, nearly 80% of people, I think it was actually in the 90s, maybe even 95% of Boston Terrier owners say that their Boston Terrier was easy to train. Once again, doing positive reinforcement style training, non-punishment training, you're gonna have great results with your Boston Terrier. Question number 17, do you need a dog who can be independent at times? Now with Bella, she does love her cuddles and she likes to be biased, but at times she goes and does her own thing. So we might be in the living room and then she decides to go to her bed and just relax on her own. While they are gonna be right next to you, at times they will go off and do their own things. Are you okay with a dog who reverse sneezes? Yes or no? Now, Boston Terriers are a brachycephalic breed, basically makes them do this reverse type of sneeze. And it's really scary if it happens for the very first time, just because you don't know what's gonna happen. And it literally looks, sounds like they're gasping for air, but it's a reverse sneeze. There's really no issue with it, but if it happens the first time, you can definitely talk to your vet because it could be an allergen in the air that's causing it. But with Bella, it would be just completely random. Some Boston Terriers get it when they move from a hot temperature to a cold temperature, like going inside or outside. And then once again, it could be pollen in the air that causes this. Number 19, are you willing to put in the time to help your dog overcome separation anxiety? I've talked to a number of Boston Terrier owners within the community, and it seems like a lot of them actually do have separation anxiety. I've talked to a dog trainer who says, yes, this dog breed you know, tends to have separation anxiety. Don't let that be a discouraging factor. There are some simple ways to help your Boston Terrier with separation anxiety, but you need to be aware of it that I've talked to a number of Boston Terrier owners and they have dealt with this. Do you want a dog who is great with agility? Yes or no? Now, Boston Terriers are not great endurance athletes, but they're perfect for agility style training. Just go to YouTube and type in Boston Terrier agility and you'll see dozens, hundreds, if not thousands of videos of Boston Terriers, you know, working their way through those little mazes and puzzles that they do. And it's awesome. Number 21, do other people in your household want a Boston Terrier? Now this is a really good question to definitely ask yourself before you get one. If other people want one, then that's great. My story, Emily and I, Emily wanted a French Bulldog. I wanted a larger dog and that's when we decided to get a Boston Terrier. We weren't familiar with the breed. I never saw a Boston Terrier until I got Bella. So you just wanna make sure people in your household also want the same thing in a dog that you do. Number 22, can you afford a dog? I surveyed 50 Boston Terrier owners and it seems like the average amount of money that you're gonna need is basically expect to spend about $120. You know, it could be a little lower, but just expect to spend about $120 a month on your Boston Terrier. And this could really go for all dogs in general. But if you have that much money set aside, will you spend that much money each and every month? No, but having that amount set aside is a good 
emergency that you should have for your Boston Terrier? Is that something you're willing to do? And this is going to include things like their food, any type of medications they might be on, their vet visits, random toys, stuff of that nature. Can you afford a dog? That's the question and the answer should be yes at this point. Number 23, are you okay with pulling poop out of your dog's booty? Growing up, my mom had dozens of different dog breeds. Boston Terriers are the only dog breed that I've ever owned. Once again, more than a dozen. You know, I'd have to actually sit down and think about it and count it out. I've never had to pull poop out of a dog's butt until I had Bella. It could be because she swallowed some of Emily's hair. It could be because she ate some paper towels. Number 24, are you allowed to own dogs where you currently live? This is extremely important. Once again, this is a Boston Terrier quiz. You need to ask yourself this question before you actually get a dog because I've seen other people within my family who've gotten dogs and their apartment complex doesn't allow it and it becomes a nasty mess. If you're planning on getting a Boston Terrier or a dog in general, you need to answer yes to this question. Number 25, do you have patience? Yes or no? This is really a general dog question because you need to have patience whenever it comes to getting a puppy or if you rescue an older dog, the chances are you're gonna have this dog for over a decade or longer and it's gonna do things that maybe you don't like and you need to have the patience to implement different training to help teach that Boston Terrier or dog what you do like. So as long as you have patience, it's gonna be enjoyable for not just yourself, but also your dog is gonna have a better life and the family members around you. So that was question number 25. I hope you answered yes to all those questions. If you did, then chances are a Boston Terrier is the perfect dog breed for you. Okay, did you answer yes to all those questions? If you did, your next thought is like, where do I actually start my search for getting a Boston Terrier? Well, I have you covered. I created a Boston Terrier Puppy Academy where you can learn where to find a Boston Terrier, how much do they cost on average, like what's the annual cost of owning a Boston Terrier, what are some common health issues, answer all those questions and more in the Puppy Academy. It's totally free. If you go to bostonterriersociety.com, scroll to the very bottom. It's called the Puppy Academy. You can click on it. I'll also include it in the show notes below so you can go check out that course for free. Once again, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel just so you can get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. Now, question of the day, what other quiz-related videos like this one would you like to see here on this YouTube channel? Put in the comments below and I'll see if I can put it together for you. If you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers and what it's like owning a Boston Terrier as far as why did other people decide to actually go with this dog breed, you can check out this video here where I talk to five other Boston Terrier parents or you can check out one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Right, Bella? A little tootie, cute, cute. Bye.